Today we're going to create art in the style of Maddie Lou O'Kelly. She grew up on a farm in Georgia, but she didn't begin painting until she was in her 50s. She loved to paint landscapes that depicted her childhood. To start our landscape, we're going to draw a farmhouse in the middle of our paper. Not too big, because this farmhouse is in the middle ground. Then we can add some hills in the foreground. These hills are close, so they can be bigger hills. Then we can draw a hill behind the farmhouse and a wavy horizon line in the background. Then you can start to divide the hill sections up with smaller hills, only dividing each section up one or two times. You can use Maddie Lou's picture to the left to help you with deciding where you want to put your divisions in your hills. After you've created all of your hills, now you can thicken the lines that you drew for your landscape. Beginning with the foreground, choose a few sections to add curved parallel lines to represent plowed fields. The lines should have plenty of space between them. In the middle ground, the lines will be a little closer together. And in the background, the lines will be even closer together. Then you can add trees in the foreground. These trees will be the largest trees because they are the closest ones to you. You can also add other details while you're here, like a fence or even some more leaves or animals in your scene. Next, you will draw smaller trees in the middle ground. These trees are a little farther away, so they will appear smaller. And then finally in the background you can add trees. These will be the smallest trees because they are the farthest away.
choose two to three analogous colors, colors that are beside each other on the color wheel to complete your landscape. The simple color palette will make your artwork look more like the folk art of Mattie Lou O'Kelly. Thank you.